Hey guys, hope you're having a good Monday. Um, so I wanted to hop on and show you guys this recipe because I know you love quick and easy like me too, right? And I'm making this recipe um, just for my family for tonight, but I'm kind of testing it out too. I've tasted it, but I haven't actually made it myself. I've made similar recipes, but I wanted you guys to see how to make it. So what we're making is a chocolate pull apart bread and it has a blueberry sauce for dipping. So you almost eat it like fondue, which is amazing. So it's really easy. It's kind of like monkey bread. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? So you start with your, your bunt pan. I'm gonna oil this bad boy because it's not nonstick. So I wanna make sure that none of my yumminess sticks to it. And I'm using coconut oil, you guys, because, um, you know, coconut oil is really good for you. And I figure if I'm gonna eat dessert, I might as well throw some good fat in there, right? Makes sense to me. Just throw coconut oil in it. It makes everything healthy, right? Okay, so I'm just kind of getting the nooks and crannies because I wanna make sure it comes out. So I just got it oiled in there. And then what I'm gonna do next, <laughs> this is so easy, you guys, you're gonna laugh. So you take French bread, the Pillsbury or whatever, French bread rolls. I know, I love coconut oil too, Michelle, seriously. Do you drink it in your coffee? Because I drink it in my coffee and it's super yum. Super duper yum. I gotta find the opening. This is like the worst part of these things is finding the openings. There we go. Probably should have done that before I hopped on, huh? I may have to get a kid to come open this. Let's see. Let's try this one. So you do, um, oh, this one opens. Yeah. Okay. So you take your two rolls of French bread. Yes, coconut oil and coffee is the bomb. Um, don't drink too much of it because it will give you kind of jitters. I don't know if you know that or not, but it'll increase your heart rate if you drink too much. So, um, but it's a good fat. It's a really good fat. Okay, so I'm going to pop this bad boy open. So you take this out, and what you do is you cut it. Let me see how they want you to cut it. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to cut it in half lengthwise, and then we're going to cut it in pieces after that. So you take the whole length, and I'm just using a serrated knife and cutting it. And then we're gonna cut it in pieces. And I'm just gonna throw it in my bowl because we're gonna put some other yummy stuff on there. Um, you could use, I guess you could make your own French bread dough, but you know, what else? Okay, here we go. So I'm just cutting this in half. So I'm ending up with two pieces, just like that. So I'm gonna throw this in my bowl. Where'd my bowl go? I have my glass mixing bowl, y'all. Hang on. I never got it down. I'm gonna have to go with the same. Okay, here we go. So I got my, my bowl here. I'm just gonna throw this in there. There we go. So, so easy, you guys. So easy. Because it's pre-made French bread dough. How easy is that? So I'm just taking these apart and just throwing them in my bowl. I don't know about you guys, but I love dessert and I love chocolate. And then when you make a warm sauce to go with it, that's just amazing, right? So again, just taking these apart. There we go. This is like the easiest recipe on the planet right here. I didn't have to make any dough. Okay, so now I'm gonna try again to get this one open. There we go, had to cut it. Got it. So two of these, and then really just some basic pantry ingredients and you've got it. It's really not hard. So you could use this for like a brunch type recipe. You could use it for dessert. I was thinking this would make an excellent Mother's Day recipe. If you want something super fun and kind of a treat and sort of kind of fancy, you could do something like this. So again, cut down the middle lengthwise. So you're almost making like a I don't know, like a big sub roll or something, but you want it all the way through. And then you just go through and cut about a half an inch or so. Some of mine are half an inch, some of mine are an inch, I think. It's gonna all bake together, so I don't think it really matters. Mm -mm, I don't think it really matters at all. It's just getting the bread all cut up. Okay, so I got all these little pieces, and I'm just throwing them in my bowl right here. 
So I'm gonna take these apart, throw them in the bowl. You know, kids could do this recipe really easily. You know, watch with the big serrated knife, but it could be pretty, pretty easy for a child to do because there's not much to it. I could have a kid doing this part. This is kind of, you know, they could do this part easily. Breaking the pieces apart and putting it in the bowl. So then what you do is you take, um, you take some, let's see, we've got sugar and we've got cocoa powder. So we've got, let's see, a quarter cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And we're gonna put that, we're gonna add that to the bowl. So we've got, I'll go over that again, quarter cup of sugar, so regular granulated sugar. I got my handy dandy little jars where I organize everything and then I forget where I put stuff. Anybody ever do that? So a quarter cup of sugar. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top of the dough. And then a tablespoon of cocoa powder. I didn't get cocoa powder out, guys. You would think I was a professional here, right? Can't even teach you guys a recipe. Okay, tablespoon of cocoa powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna toss it to coat, right? Is that what we're doing here? It is what we're doing here, tossing it to coat. Yes, awesome. So, got my scraper, handy dandy scraper, and I'm just gonna toss these things around. I'm actually, you know what, here's the deal. You guys aren't eating this, so I'm gonna use my hands. Because this dough kinda got sticky together, and this is perfect. I can just toss it with my hands. I love it when you're cooking at home and nobody knows that you're using your hands because it's so much easier to use your hands than it is to use anything else, right? My grandmother used to do that, but she would like lick her fingers and stick it all back in the food. You guys ever have a grandma that did that? Okay, oh, these are beautiful. That worked perfectly. So this is all covered, I'm gonna show you. Everything's kind of covered with cocoa and sugar. So they look like little, almost like little donut holes, but with cocoa and sugar on it. Hmm. There you go. Okay, so you can see them all in there. All in that so you see them. That's what they're supposed to look like. So they look like just little pieces of dough covered in some cocoa and some sugar. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, we're going to microwave a stick of butter and a quarter cup of brown sugar. And I forgot the brown sugar too. It's a good thing I know where everything is. Okay, so I got the brown sugar. Quarter cup, brown sugar. You know when you measure brown sugar, you put it in there. That's true, she did need to taste it, my grandma, to make sure it was good. Okay, so when you do brown sugar, you know you wanna pack it. That's just a rule for measuring brown sugar. So I pack the brown sugar in there. And then a stick of butter. So we're gonna stick this in there. And microwave it. Mm, it says a minute. So we'll try the minute and see what happens. So we got that all together. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a blueberry sauce, which is so yummy. I don't know if you guys have ever tried blueberry and chocolate together, but it's quite yum. And if you don't like blueberry, you could always sub out the blueberry for strawberries or dark cherry would be really good. Um, mm, you could do like a mixed berries, whatever you got in your freezer, honestly. I almost thought I was gonna have to use mixed berries because I forgot the blueberries. But we had a whole bag of blueberries in there. So you take four cups, I'm using frozen, but you could do, um, you could do fresh if you wanted to. Frozen's usually cheaper, and they're flash frozen, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm taking my everyday pan from my rock crop, and I'm putting four cups of blue, or I'm sorry, yeah, four cups of blueberries in there. And again, just frozen blueberries. How easy is that? it up really really well you can see fills it up all right let's grab this that looks good so now I'm gonna whisk this until my brown sugar gets all nice and good and melted and all meshed together I you love how I use all these technical cooking terms melted and mesh yeah I'm no good with the language. Okay, so brown sugar, this smells like a praline, is what this smells like, brown sugar and butter. <laughs> oh, this smells good. Okay, 
So I've got my brown sugar and my butter all mixed up. Now what I'm gonna do, you are going to put your chocolate sugar coated yumminess and we're just gonna drop it in the um, Blue Cake Pan. Yeehaw, baby. This is gonna be so yummy when it comes out, oh my gosh. So, so yummy. And then, because it's in these little pieces, it's gonna pull apart really easily, so you really can eat it almost like monkey bread. I'll post a picture, I won't make you guys sit on here for 20 minutes while it makes, but I'll post a picture when it's done. Before everybody starts to eat it, because, you know, that would be bad. If I posted it after everybody started eating it. Okay, here we go. Done, done, done. And I feel like all this extra like sugar and stuff should go in here. I feel like I should just sprinkle it on top. It doesn't say to do that, but I feel like that's a good plan. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, here we go. And then you pour your brown sugar and your butter on top. Mm, let me whisk that. My brown sugar kind of settled. Okay, pour it on top. You wanna make sure it's nice and even. You want butter evenly distributed there. Brown sugar evenly distributed there. And again, remember this is like a sticky bread, so it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be super sweet, okay? But the nice thing is that blueberry sauce is gonna cut the sweet quite a bit. And if you really want to get crazy, you could make some homemade whipped cream, and that will help cut the sweetness too. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. It just looks like a big, blob of dough, chocolatey yumminess with the butter in there. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven and it goes in there for, let's see, 21 to 23 minutes or until it's puffy and beautiful. Okay, bake 21. Oh, nope. It's at 375. Start timer. We don't want it to bake at 21 degrees. That would be a disaster. All right, now the fun part, the blueberries. Oh my gosh, so this is so easy. You can put this on the stove. I'm actually, because that's gotta bake for 20 minutes and I've got some other stuff, laundry and other fun things I need to do. I'm just gonna stick this on my rock rock stand and let it do its thing, like slowly. So you wanna do berries and then you wanna do a quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of sugar. Easy. If you wanna use a sugar substitute, you could totally do that if you're trying to watch your sugar intake because there's a whole lot of sugar in this recipe. Um, but it's gonna be yum. So then that's all you do. And then you let it kind of sit in the heat and break the blueberries down. You can use the mix and chop to kind of help you break up the berries. And as it's cooking, that's my plan, is just as it's cooking, and these blueberries heat up and get really soft, I'm just gonna mash them down with the, um, the mix and chop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in some half and half. You wanna add in a cup of half and half. Now there's a way to do that because you don't wanna, sometimes you know, if you add in um, half and half or milk products into something that's really hot, it can be a disaster. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda of temper it a little bit. So I've got my half and half. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it slowly. So I'm gonna take out some of the hot um, blueberries um, and pour a little bit of the, the half and half in there. And then, you know, like just slowly combine the two and then put all of that back into my pot with my blueberries and my sugar and all my yumminess. So I'll post a picture and let you guys uh, see how it comes out. And the cool thing is you can use fondue sticks um, to break apart the chocolate and then dip it in the blueberry sauce. So you got the bread on your stick, dipping it in the blueberry sauce. I mean, how yummy does that sound? So it's two packages, just for you, two packages of the French bread dough, um, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and then just a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And you're mixing all that up. Then you're taking the stick of butter and a quarter cup of brown sugar, melt all that, pour it on top in your pan, done. Blueberries is just four cups of blueberries, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of sugar, cook it down. You can do it on the stove top if you want. 
and then slowly combine your blueberries with your half and half. It's gonna make a yummy, creamy mixture, and then you can use that like fondue for your pull apart bread when it comes out. So hope you guys make this at home. Post some pictures if you do, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.